Jennifer Hudson's success in the movie Dreamgirls has put the spotlight on the real life singer on whose life this part was based. It's Florence Ballard, one of the original Supremes who was pushed aside, forgotten, and died in poverty. Today, in an exclusive interview, her daughters tell Les Trent about how they've been impacted by the movie and about their mother. Thank you, and God bless you all. It's the role that won Jennifer Hudson the Oscar and the Golden Globe. And when she picked up her globe, she made a very special dedication. I just want to dedicate this award to a lady who never really got a fair chance. This award is for Florence Ballard. You will never be forgotten. Those who know the story of the legendary girl group, the Supremes, knew right away that Hudson was paying tribute to one of Motown's biggest stars. Florence Ballard gained international fame as the founding member of the Supremes, but she was kicked out of the group in 1967. Some say it mirrors what happened to Jennifer Hudson's character Effie in Dreamgirls. While fellow Supremes Diana Ross and Mary Wilson went on to successful solo careers, Florence struggled with depression and alcoholism. She died in poverty at the age of 32, leaving behind three young daughters. So what became of the three little girls who were left motherless? Inside Edition found the sisters living in Detroit. Are any of you like your mother on welfare? Yes. 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 All three? Yes. And what can only be described as a cruel case of irony, all three of Florence Ballard's daughters, twins Nicole and Michelle Chapman, and their younger sister Lisa, say they are destitute. Right now, we're, we're struggling, you know. It's hard. Right. We spoke to the women at Lisa's modest Detroit home not far from the original headquarters of Motown. When Florence Ballard died of a heart attack in 1976, thousands attended the funeral, including Diana Ross. That's Diana comforting Lisa at the service. But as the children got older, they found themselves on hard times. I don't know who's to blame because, um, you know, we've been cheated out of so much, you know, in our lives. All they have left are these fading photographs and memories of their mother. Ballard's daughters say they hold no ill will towards the other members of the Supremes. They helped us the best that they could. You know, when my mom passed, they did. Diana Ross had a trust fund set up for us. But when we got of age, it was gone. Do you know how much was in there? 10000 apiece. And it was gone? Mm -hmm. Yes. The release of the movie Dream Girls and Jennifer Hudson's Oscar win has resurrected interest in Flo Ballard. <laughs> <laughs> That's your mom. Oh, <laughs> Her daughters got a thrill when we showed them this rare clip of the Supremes performing on the Mike Douglas show in 1965. Florence Ballard, 21, not married, still looking for my baby love. <laughs> Go, girl. <laughs> The women became emotional when they visited their mother's grave site. There's no headstone, only a simple marker covered in snow at the final resting place of the legendary singer. What are your thoughts? I just, I don't think she had a fair chance in life. And she passed away so young. I just miss her when she was here. The women tell us they have seen Dream Girls and say they like the movie, but they tell us they feel everyone else is benefiting from their mother's story except them. Still